welcome back to another video. I'm Sbahim Kize and this is my channel. If you are a regular tegila, a regular liker, a regular sharer, honey, thank you so much for coming back once again. And if you are new here today, welcome to the channel. Make sure that you click the subscribe button so you can join the regular degulars. We are on the road to 30k, so please do make sure you subscribe. It literally costs you nothing. Now, today's video is brought to you by Mind Show. Mind Show is a AI auto-generated slides company that helps helps us teachers and any other working professional to create presentations and slides that are engaging for our classrooms as well as for any presentation that you want to do. So today I'm here to chat to you more about it and offer you a seven day free access to the premium services on the platform. Now before I give you all that information, let me share with you why you should sign up and why you should check it out because honestly it's been such a wonderful experience uh, playing around with the platform and seeing how it helps me become more organized as a teacher and I get to spend less time trying to find the right presentation, the right themes, the right layouts and I spend more time on my content, what I want to hit in the classroom, what are the targets, what is the content that's going to be going inside the presentation, basically the meat of the presentation. Now, as you already know guys, I am an educator and I spend a lot of time working on presentations for my classroom so that my kids are, you know, focused in on the lesson, learning English, having fun, but most importantly, the presentations need to be appealing, they need to be age appropriate, they need to be bright, they need to be bold, all the kids need to be able to read the PPT from, from wherever they are in the classroom. So these are the kind of things that I need to take into consideration when I'm choosing the right layout and the right themes for my presentations or my slides. Now, as you already know, it is a lot of work, you know, creating a presentation from scratch, you need to do the, all the nitty gritty things, your themes need to match your bold, uh, you know, letters, etc, etc. It can be a very tedious task when you still need to focus in on the content and you want to do the research to make sure that your lessons are, you know, engaging and all your kids are learning. So this for me was so on brand. When I heard about Mindshow, I was like, okay, this is on brand because this is saving me so much time when it comes to creating my presentations. Now, if you have not heard about AI, uh, or AI auto-generated slides before, this is for you. Now, if you are someone who sometimes lacks some inspiration and you don't know where to start when it comes to your presentations, you can actually go on Mindshow, type in the title, and the AI auto-generated slide comes up and it gives you all the different ways that you can approach the title and you can kind of sift through it and see, okay, this is what I want to use, this is what I don't want to use. You can edit it, you can choose the layout that you want, and you can decide how deep you want to go into the topic or just kind of keep it superficial and just the basic things. So I think it's really, really good for people like ourselves who are educators, who have, you know, so many ideas, but sometimes don't know how to narrow it down. Or if you're someone who's lacking some inspiration, you don't know where to start and it just gives you a big web of ideas and you can kind of choose where and what direction you want to go. Now, a few things I want to mention as well is that you can actually upload things onto the Mindshow site so you can actually put them in the PPT. So if you're wanting to use any Word document, any, um, you know, any markdown document, any, lay any layouts or, you know, pictures or whatever the case may be, you can upload them on the platform and you can edit your your uh, presentation, put the things in there, and then once you download it, you can actually download it on PPTX as well as PDF. Now those layouts or those um, themes that you choose stay there forever. It's under your profile, so you can definitely go back and edit it, you can retweet it, you can retweak it, you can reuse it if you want. I think that's also really nice for you to see your progress and see what you've done and how far you want to carry on with your ideas, etc, etc. Now if you are you know, interested in this, it sounded like it's up your alley, you can use my, uh, my special code SBATLE and this will unlock a seven day premium access to the platform. Now this is something that will give you full control. You can actually have access to all the different features that the platform has. So you can kind of see if this is for you. I think it's really nice. So before you actually sign and you kind of subscribe, you can see if this is something for you, you have that option. So thank you so much to Mindshow for giving my beautiful subscribers that opportunity to experience your platform. I think it's going to be great for students, working professionals, educators, anyone who constantly has to create presentations. I think it saves us a lot of time. It will also give us so much inspiration and, and save us time from doing, you know, the, the looking for the themes and the layouts. And, and you can use that time to actually de uh, decide on your 
your content and what is the meat of your presentation. I want to give you guys a mini tutorial on how to work the platform. I'm going to do a little voiceover and then after that, we're going to come back and close this video up. Okay, loves, so this is the Mind Show page. You can see on the left, there's all the different tabs like home import, text to PPT, your slides, customized themes, account settings, and inviting friends. You can also see your cloud storage. And then at the top, you can see what presentations you can actually make, the different types, and the, um, as well as all the different options that they have. All right, so I'm going to show you guys an example using adjectives. So like I said, you can type in any title and, you know, it will generate the information for you. So if you have no idea, you can just create something from any ideas that you have. So then you can see it starts to generate. You can also adjust the, the length of the slides and you can also add the information that you want displayed in the PPT as well as, you know, adjust the length, like I said. All right. And then you can see at the bottom there, it's done 10 slides. So once you click on that, it will then put it all together on a template. So once the template is there, you can actually decide which templates you want to choose from according to your age group, or whatever um, the platform you'll be presenting this on. And what's nice is that you can edit it on this platform, but you can also download it actually, and you can still work on it um, on your computer on PPT. So um, I was going through the slides here, just showing you guys that you can actually go through the slides. They've actually pre-laid it out for you. So you can move things around. You can summarize some of it. You can change some words. I wait for this one, obviously, because I'm grade four and, you know, it's a little bit more age appropriate. It's bright and just on theme. So then at the top, you can download it with P PDF or PPTX. I opted for PPTX and it saves right in my downloads, as you can see. And then I actually wanted to work on it a bit more. So if you still want to make a few changes to it, you still can. It's not locked. And so you can definitely do that and, you know, change your titles if you feel like content is not what you want to go for and, you know, just make it yours. So this is really, really great because you can just, you know, move things around. You've got your idea. You've got some um, direction and you can just chop and change things. And yeah. So as you can see here, guys, I'm just going through the slides and making it age appropriate because obviously my kids are ESL kids. And so some of the words could be a little bit too difficult for them. But if you are teaching high ability kids, you can definitely keep the slide the way it is. What I love is about this is that it's giving me ideas and it's helping me figure out how I can lay it out, how I can introduce adjectives to the kids and how I can basically make it age appropriate. So you can once again, like I said, you can keep things, you can remove things, keep it for later. But what's great is that it's already there for you and you are basically making it uh, suit your needs. And so this has been really great for me and figuring out how I can um, use this more uh, when it comes to preparing for my classes. All right, my loves. So I hope that video tutorial was helpful to you. I think, you know, use the special code. Literally, it's free. Take it. 
um, go on there and experience the platform see what you can use see what you can't use but I think what's nice is that you can literally type any title when it comes to whatever subject or theme that you're looking at and it can kind of auto generate those presentations for you and you can check out all the other um, sort of packages that they have so you can actually have membership and that will give you more access and it will make your life so much easier so yeah guys I hope this video was helpful to you you know how much I love plugging us with information skills resources that will make sure that we thrive in our different spaces and I think my show is definitely one of those platforms so if you are loving this video give it a big thumbs up check out mine show check out their platform i will put all the information in the description box you can use my special code Smashley, and i will see you guys in the next video Mwah.